hey guys welcome to my channel welcome to today's video and today's video is a vlog it's after church uh, we are right from the church so we are going to uh, take the kids to have some fun but before that to eat first on this particular sunday we had just had an amazing day at church and now we were headed to Limuru to uh, take the kids for lunch and also to take them to the playground. So come along with me as we embrace the joy and blessings that God has bestowed upon us. So it's an opportunity for us to explore the fun and valuable lessons that can be learned in such a simple and joyful place. <laughs> Parents will know how important it is to teach our children about God's love and grace in every aspect of our life. And what better way to do that than through play and exploration. So in today's video, we are going to be witnessing how even in the simplest activities, we can find valuable lessons rooted in our faith. Just like our children are bouncing in this bouncing castle, you can see how Maniki is really enjoying and Garuya. We can also bounce back from the challenges life throws at us. So in the book of Psalms 30 and verse 5, it says, Weeping may last through the night, but joy comes with the morning. So God's love and strength help us, helps us overcome hardships and find joy in every situation. Jumping on the uh, bouncing castle, the kids headed right to the to the slide. And here, as our children slide down the slide, we are reminded of the importance of humility. Like in the book of Matthew, we are told in the book of Matthew 18, verse, verse 4, Jesus said, Whoever humbles himself like the child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Let us remember to be humble approachable and childlike in our faith, always relying on God's guidance and grace. Life is full of ups and downs, just like the spinning chair, it's easy to get caught up in the wheelbed of life. But as Christians, we know that God is our steady anchor. In the book of Proverbs 3, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. You know you always submit to him and he will make your path straight. Also, as our children enjoy the seesaw, we are reminded of balance, the beauty of balance. Like in Ecclesiastes 3, uh, verse 1, it says, For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. Just as this season requires balance, our lives need balance too. Balancing our time with God, our time with family, work, and play. It's in finding that balance that we experience true peace and contentment. The kids also had a great time having their faces painted with beautiful designs and this also reminded me of the uniqueness and creativity God has instilled in each one of us. 
Psalms 139 verse 14, it says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. How wonderful it is to celebrate the individuality of every child of God and to appreciate the beauty and the, the, the workmanship that God has put in each one of us individually. enjoy sana so and what an incredible day that we had cherishing the moments of pure joy and laughter with our children at the playground so it's in this moment that we can truly see god's love and blessings surrounding us so my dear friends and my dear super moms remember to embrace the simple pleasures of life for they are gifts from above uh, thank you so much you guys for tuning in and for listening to me and for being with me up to this point, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.